the start of the season, many people had slotted North Melbourne in as wooden spooners. Mm. Mm, how are they feeling now? The Kangaroos still very much in contention for September, due in no small part to this man. Please make welcome the superstar from the Kangaroos from Arden Street, Sean Higgins. Hello. Hello. A target on his back or what? Yeah. Well, you are targeted, man, isn't he, uh, Shane? He is, everywhere he goes. Uh, all the players uh, from the opposition side are always uh, after you. You're oh. the most targeted player in the AFL, and that's because you're obviously getting a lot of the oh. footy. Well, six blokes have been fined for actually belting you, Higo. Yeah, what? and I've had to uh, put my hand in the pocket a couple of times as well this year, oh. Bill, unfortunately. So yeah. that one wasn't a pleasant one, but. Um, it's all part and parcel of the game, isn't it? But, uh, to you, are you yappy out in the ground? Do you say much to them? Do no, they not really. No, them? I don't. Um, well, I don't think I do. Maybe, oh. I, maybe I'm saying a little bit too much, but <laughs> it's all in good fun. Well, that one there ruined for the most part. <laughs> Sam, ruined for the most part. What was uh, a beautiful moment in your life, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was a big 24 hours um, for Heidi and myself, and oh. we had an interesting. There it is. It was. Um, that was the the morning of the incident, but. Yeah, we had an eventful Saturday night and early Sunday morning and little Rosie was born at 5.27 Sunday morning and I headed off to the game and um, was planning on coming back but uh, that got halted <laughs> about 24 hours until I got released from hospital. So do you subscribe to the theory that because you were sleep deprived that you just didn't have the awareness that you would normally have? Do you reckon I should have, should have seen him coming? <laughs> I didn't say it was my theory. <laughs> I didn't say it was my theory. No, I probably agree with you because you would think that... Okay, um, it's my theory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You would think that um, you'd see someone coming there. Look, who knows? You don't know. But um, I do know I only had about an hour and a half sleep, so it potentially could be the, uh, mm. the issue. You got knocked out and you actually didn't know you had a baby. When you woke up and someone handed you a baby, you didn't know it was yours. <laughs> Is that no. true or not? Well, the baby wasn't in the room, Bill. Just down in the room. You. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I did wake up at the bottom of Eddie Haddon. Wasn't quite sure what had just happened. But um, look, it quickly came back to me. Yeah. It's now, not just the uh, the opposition players that are targeting you. It's also your own teammates. Luke McDonald, pre-season. Uh, we've got some oh. footage here of you two having a, a bit of a go at it. Oh. So what's going on there? Surely your teammates aren't wanting to knock your That's head off good. as well. Well, if you knew Luke McDonald, you'd know exactly what I was, uh, what I was doing there. <laughs> but, um, no, look, Luke and I are really good mates, and that was a couple of years ago in pre-season. They can be uh, long and strenuous pre-seasons, and uh, he thought it'd be a good idea to try and give me a little clip when I wasn't <laughs> watching. And oh, he actually nearly put me over. I just reached out, got him, and um, that was it. A number of players had been fined for, uh, for six. Uh, has anyone actually been suspended for uh, belting you? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't think so. Uh, in which case, probably the tribunal is with the people that have belted you because they probably think <laughs> some of them have them off. That's right. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, no, but it's strange that no one has been suspended for actually no. belting it in this day and age when we're uh, really clamping down on mm. untoward things. Were you surprised that Stephen May only got a fine? Oh, not really. I think. Look, I think this year probably more fines given that um, it was well publicised early on in the year that they wanted to stamp that out. And look, I'm fully in agreement with that. There hasn't been a lot in any of them, to be honest, where we have a bit of a laugh here, but they've all been um, fairly minor. And that one um, deserved the free kick. We got that and we move on. How do you pay the fines? Because I was listening the other night, I think it was Danger, said he went in and had to take his credit card in to pay for it. Is that true? Uh, well, it's true we pay for them, yeah. I'm, I, I think people... I'm not sure where they think the money comes from, yeah. the people that ask you these questions, but yeah, you just you pay the fine. So, um, <laughs> Sean, it's, they're please. significant. Yeah, they do, Sam. What? What? what do you think happens, Sam? What do I think happens? I'll tell you what happens. Uh, Sean gives the credit card over, they uh, swipe it at the tribunal, and then when you get back to the club, they give you a paper bag with the money in it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll, send, I'll send you the invoice for the next one, Sam, because I can assure you that's not the way, the, the way that it plays out, unfortunately. I know you're getting an invoice, uh, Sean, but please don't tell us that you don't get reimbursed for it because it's for the club and it's one for the yeah. team so, and all that. So, Sam, is it, are you talking from personal <laughs> experience? Wish. Like I when wish. you got a, what, a, a £1.50 fine or something? <laughs> yeah. like that, uh, and the club yeah. just reimbursed you, did they? Absolutely, they did. Yeah. No, yeah. they don't do Got it. the lot they... back and interest. Sean, why has North Melbourne gone North above North and beyond North. what a lot of people thought they might? 
Oh, look, I think because at the start of the year, people need to give predictions. Um, <laughs> and not all predictions um, are given with the full knowledge of where the club sees the, where they're at and, and the pro progression that we made over the pre-season. And we felt like last year we were really competitive. I know it didn't look like that on the ladder. We had close games. People might have overlooked that. And I think we've just had good performances. Some guys like Benny Brown that you mentioned, who's um, clearly the best full forward in the comp at the moment. Mm. And when are you going to land a big one? Big what? Player. Yes. I'm not sure. I'm um, not looking after list management. So, um, <laughs> look, we could, I think, as the club has mentioned, we'll continue to try and find the best players in the competition that can make um, our football club and our list better. Now, uh, so, North Melbourne um, and Sean have been incredible, Sam. Last year was the very first year that Sean played on ball at an AFL club for the whole year and absolutely dominated. This year he's doing the same. Um, not about individual awards, but you pretty much would be leading the Brownlow medal. Mm -hmm. No, he with... would Yes, he would. Absolutely. He would. <laughs> <laughs> you go, I'm telling you right now, he would so. No, he wouldn't. Well, who, who's He'll leading? get a big head if you... Oh, <laughs> yeah. you know, like <laughs> no, he, he's, he's had an amazing season. Uh, when you're at the Bulldogs, they played you down back and they played you a little forward. But oh, what's boy. been the transition for you going into the middle? You watch Brownlow medal night come to round 13 yeah. or 14. Sean Max Higgins Gorn will be, will right be up leading. There. Yeah, and guess who's right on his heels? This man right here. Yeah, so what's been Tom the Mitchell. for you? <laughs> Billy's not happy with that, is he? He's not. <laughs> no, nah, look, I think, uh, yeah, like you mentioned, so last year was the first year I played a full, a full year on ball um, and just been able to continue that momentum and really enjoying it. I've got, unfortunately, I've got some really good players around me. Ben Cunnington's having an unbelievable mm. year and, um, you know, he, he would be up there in the brown low, no doubt. So, yeah, I'm lucky I've got some good players around me and I think just having another year on balls enabled me to play good footy. Well, what's caught your eye over well, there, Sam? Well, why did you say he's got a big head? He's got a big <laughs> head? What's well, he, not... Um, no, not a big head as in he thinks he's up in... No, exactly. He's actually got a physically... No, he hasn't. Physically, he's got a big head. Well, he's got hair for a start, Bill. That... Uh, <laughs>